People come and go, but indigenous lands, stories, and cultures last forever. That is why elders have shared their experiences and knowledge, from word of mouth to pen and paper. A book called The Touchwood Hills People Our Land was launched at the 20th anniversary celebration of the Touchwood Agency Tribal Council in Panichai. Every First Nation has their stories, every First Nation has a history uh, that we, we, should, uh, we should be respectful of. Andrew Miller, a non-Indigenous professor with the First Nations University of Canada, is a co-author of the book. He says 30 elders shared their experiences from four different First Nations. I didn't have to seek people to interview. Uh, that, that elders were identified within the communities, the four communities, uh, who, were, who were known as experts. Spread across 86 pages are photos and stories of historic Indigenous sites. The Day Star, George Gordon, Kawakatoos, and Meskawagan First Nations contributed to the book, their stories transcribed to English from several Indigenous languages. When you start to lose speakers and the language, I think you start to lose the story behind the, the places, and that's what prompted this project. Project coordinator Bill Strongarm says it took two years to complete the book. He hopes the lessons inside will help the younger generation. It will re-establish them to establish their identity to who they are, to the land, and to, to, to themselves. A sentiment shared by the elders who offered their own personal stories, like Alvin Campo. The book means a lot to me because now our children and their children can look back and say, look, here's how we were a long time ago. And there are still more stories to be told. Elders from communities who have not yet shared their experiences are encouraged to pass on their knowledge to keep Indigenous history alive. Catherine Fraser, CTV News, Punichai.